I mean, it's so hard to even go home when knowing she's not going to be there. Even more difficult, Cody Mann says, not knowing where his girlfriend of nearly five years is. I just want her home. Her home on Blaine Lane is the last place Cody and Maddie's mother, Melissa, saw Maddie. Sunday morning, she told them she was heading to the country corner market to go tanning. She did not make it to tanning, did not. Her car was found across the street in a church parking lot. And one of these parking spots right in here. Maddie's mom is the one who found the car and called the sheriff's office. The car is sitting at the church parking lot with the keys in it, unlocked, with her phone in it. She's nowhere to be found. There's no reason that so far that we found why she would pull into that parking lot. Maddie's car is now in the sheriff's possession. He says investigators found no obvious signs of foul play. But Sheriff Donnie Barrera says this car may be connected to Maddie's disappearance. Security cameras from the corner market captured it leaving the church lot Sunday morning, heading in the direction of Leesburg. Also, a church employee saw it in the lot that morning. The lady that seen the license tag that came in uh, I believe it's a treasure and just happened to see a car and then California tag start out, stuck out in her head. Tonight, as the investigation continues, so does the search for Maddie or clothing she may have been wearing, a black North Face jacket and possibly this Destin shirt. My, my mind is just driven. I mean, I'm in one direction and I am driven to find her. And the sheriff tells me his office is receiving hundreds of tips. He says they received, received tips now from 11 different states. Now, he would not go into detail, but says with the technology the FBI has, he hopes to have more information to share with the public in the coming days. Reporting live tonight in Highland County, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen